So one of our main market niches is the remote region where there's no infrastructure, there's no pipelines, and they need some on-site processing capabilities. That's a pretty hard proposition to have that site staffed 24-7, especially in North Dakota when it's 30 below. So we've used the Apto 22 technology to essentially automate the operations of the skid itself. And by adding remote communications on top of that layer, we can actually monitor and control all of our field units from here in Lakewood, Colorado. We have the ability of keeping our brain trust, if you will, in-house. We have engineering right next door to operations, to where if we encounter troubleshooting issues, we can respond very rapidly. We avoid all the complexities of maintaining operators on site in all varieties of weather conditions. And we're able to provide on-spec product to the client at all times. So Pioneer Energy's legacy is as a research engineering firm, and that has certain technology platforms associated with it. Um, and when you have a Windows PC as a critical component of a PID loop, it makes you a little uncomfortable sometimes. And so we just had this thought in our heads that autonomous is what we were trying to provide to our clients. Autonomous was the type of controller that we needed. We also have pretty tight deadlines around here and we didn't have a whole lot of time to tackle the steep learning curves of some of the other commonly available industrial controls infrastructures. Opto 22 solved a lot of our issues. It is modular, it is rapidly deployable, it has a very reasonable learning curve. For us, the networking technology was a bit of a learning curve, but it was actually introduced to us at the Opto training when we were assigning IP addresses to a controller. It really got us thinking about what kind of subnet architecture we wanted to have. Um, another really key feature of our technology is that it thrives in remote applications. We are sometimes in the middle of nowhere and all you have is a spotty 3G connection to get back home with. And for a variety of reasons, we've used a pure Opto 22 infrastructure on our communication. We have Opto 22 controllers, Opto 22 OPC server, and we run pack display and mission control. That entire infrastructure with no modifications is incredibly lightweight as far as bandwidth is concerned and allows us to right out of the box fire up a display over a spotty 3G connection and actually operate these systems remotely.